got to get it in the hole first. That's important in a lot of things in life. Okay, well, we got the old Mouse Turd 700 made by Rigid here. Boys, we got another one. A 1976 Ford LTD. Woo! What are you staring at? What we do here may not be what you want to do. The old Missouri Queen, she was, she was. Welcome to RC Industry. Well, hey, it's Rick here. And thanks for tuning in to another exciting episode of RC Industry. Today, we're going to get out there on the old Lati Da. And uh, we're going to see if we can put the old headliner back up in there. You know, it may not work. I don't know. But it's bound to look better than it did. And if not, you know, we'll come up with something else. Thanks for tuning in. Show you more. All right, let's see what we can do to get done here. Uh, somewhere we got some keys. I don't know where they're at, but there we are. Keep this thing locked up. We wouldn't want anybody to, you know, steal anything out of it. Now what I want to do is lay this out uh, from front to back, and that's what we got here. And uh, you can tell this is the front because this is where the sun visor thingies go. So I'm going to pull the rods out of the roof, starting in the front and to the back, and then that way we have them in the right slots, because I don't know if they're all the same or not. And uh, I want to try to keep them straight. So, with that said, let's see what we can get done. Man, this thing's filthy in here. Lord have mercy. All this rat poop and oh, I don't know what all this is in here. Okay. So, we're going to, uh, we got to get the vacuum in here and clean some of this up too. Uh, so, we're going to pop this out of here. Just like that. And then we're going to go up there and slide it into those little doogee whoppers we sewed in there all right show you more okay so i'm hoping that i didn't sew these too tight that this won't slide through there but it looks like it will come on now let's play friendly Now you all can comment down below and tell me if you think there's a better way of doing this because I'm sure there is. You know, we make things like brand used here, so uh, what we do here may not be what you want to do. But if it works, is it really wrong? I mean, you know, yeah, it may not be by the book, but you know what? We're just about there. I think we made it. Look at there. Good as brand used, baby. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the rest of those out of there and we're going to get them threaded through this headliner and then we'll see about cleaning up the inside in there a little bit because it's just nasty. And then we'll see if it goes in. It may not. All right, show you more. Okay, well, we got the old Mouse Turd 700 made by Rigid here. So we're going to use this in here but before we use it in here we have got to get all this stuff out of here so like you know our fender skirts so we don't scratch up the fenders when we're working on the engine which we haven't done yet and let's see what else we got here let's get this thing down it stinks in here Whew. let's see oh yeah we got the uh booster cables here and uh oh yeah funnel so you can put fluids in it and of course this ever so rare high dollar this 10 horsepower doogee whopper clear ford this is a original faux moco part number uh well it ain't got no part number on it but hey it's pretty cool got our valve cover gaskets we gotta someday put those on once we get the engine running right 
Oh, let's see. There's all the stuff we took out of it when we took the headliner down. We don't want to lose that. Oh. Non-factory floor mats. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, okay. Well, here's a here's a Ford floor mat and some wires that you know we really just don't know what any of that does yet. Oh, looks like you can plug it into your laptop. Okay, so here's another oh, another floor mat. This stuff, whatever all of this stuff is, more wires. Car isn't lacking in wires. Fired up! You're a mess. Don't you ever take a bath? Okay, well, you know what? I think my grandma had some curtains in her trailer that looked about like these seats. The old Missouri queen she was, she was. Alright, so we got it pretty well cleared out in here. And uh, we got the crap all off the top, that old insulation. And uh, already smells better in here. Of course, leaving the windows open has probably helped some of that all right uh, let's see if we can get that headliner put in all right so we know this is the front so I think I'm gonna start in the back and work my way forward so we're gonna kind of roll it up here this direction and then we can slip the whole thing into the car and start in the back all right, show you more. Okay, so if we just slide this in here right here. Hey, Fred, hold this. Hey! All right. Uh, let's see here once if we can get this stretched up over here. Oh, out, of way, out of the way here. one who knew
There's three. Possibly. Almost. There's three. Can you do that? Can you stay up there? I don't know. Now, obviously, uh, these things have got more than one hole here. And uh, I've got it in the loosest one, which would be the bottom of that hole. So I think if you were going to tighten it down, you would simply raise that up. So we'll kind of have to play with that. Let's get the rest of it installed and we'll see how it looks. All right, show you more. Okay, so here's what we got. Um, you can see, of course, it's wrinkly, but you can pull this taut and it'll take the wrinkles out. And that's what we got to do. We got to go through here and tuck this in all around, even back there by Fred, and, and then over here. And that should take this wrinkly stuff out. And if it's still kind of wrinkly we can move the adjustment on these ribs up like I showed you into another hole and that'll tighten it as well so let me see if I can get this tightened down and I'll show you more okay so the wrinkles are coming out real nice except for right here it's a little I don't know if you can tell it's a little bit uh, a little bit loose not bad here not bad there and not bad back here on the back so what I want to do is we're going to move this up well, we could put it here but let's go all the way to the top and see if we can tighten that up some all right show you more okay so you can see that that made that a lot tighter and uh, we just moved it up into this hole and when i did that then this one acted more loose so i went ahead and moved this one up as well and then, of course, when we pull this back here, then that'll make that all tight. Now, one thing that I did notice is my seams are not real perfect. Uh, I guess if I had been a better seamstress or sewer or how about a tailor? Yeah, if I'd have been a better tailor, I could have probably made that look a little better. But hey, it's better than it flopping in the wind like it was doing before. All right, show you more. Okay, well, so you just got to work with it a little bit. You can see the hole here where this little doogee whopper, so you can hang your suits and stuff on when you're going down the road. Um, you can see where that hole is, and then you can see right here where it's got to match up. So you just have to work this, work this over in these, you know, and get this thing stretched out and get it pulled back over here to where it goes and then run your doogee whopper in. Where did that piece go? I'll tell you boys, there just ain't no easy run. This thing has got to go right there and hold this all up in there. got to get it in the hole first that's important in a lot of things in life all right there's that okay I'm going to show you what I'm getting into here so this uh, material of course is old and uh, I don't I'm afraid to pull it real tight because I don't want to rip the seams out and it just won't go far enough up here underneath this thing here because these little screws right here are supposed to go through these holes to help hold this back um, so it just won't stretch that far without tearing something so what I'm gonna do is use some of my you know general purpose 45 here and we're gonna spray that on the back side of this and kind of along here because it had some glue on it anyway when we took it out of course it wasn't stuck but you know it had been at one time so so that's what we're gonna do Show you more. Okay. I don't know if 
this is, if you can see this, though, no. let me turn this around. Let's see if we can get this to where you guys can see that. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, so our glue is kind of dried, so I want to pull this tight and stick that down on that glue. So it'll kind of hold it, you know. Oh yeah, she's a holding now. I think I probably should have gotten that a little tighter right there. Okay, so now we should be able to push this up in there and put a screw in here. You know, shoulda, woulda, coulda, but you know, hey, I don't look right, but. This one tightened up. And this one needs to go back in there. There we go. That don't look too bad now. I think I'll do that same spray can or spray glue trick right along here because this is actually supposed to come clear up to there. But you can see that it, it's just a little, sh a little short. So if I spray that across there, then the chrome, then this, uh, not chrome, but this trim piece, then will hide all that. And if our holes for these are off just a little bit, but you know what? That's just too bad. Well, I got that up in there, and uh, you know she's pretty tight across there. It don't look too bad. It uh, it looks just like brand used. Now what we got here is we got to get these sun visors put in here and um, you can see I've got them both right here. Now the problem is is that I don't know which one goes on which side and the part numbers on this bracket are the same so I'm guessing that the same bracket is shoved in on the sun visor. I really don't know they're not marked left and right so what I'm gonna have to do is get up in here and dig around and find the holes and see how this matches up because you can see you can turn that thing all the way around so well not quite but you can turn it quite a ways so all right show you more okay well we got the sun visors in and uh one of the pieces i'm missing is these little tit things that go in the end of here um so i don't know i'm gonna try to locate a junkyard that's got something one of these old fords in it and hopefully i can get those two pieces i got to get one of these too this thing's bad and and uh we need a dope light here uh this thing is missing so uh if any of you got one out there some old ford or something like well, get a hold of me i'd be glad to pay the shipping and pay for it i mean i ain't wanting nothing for free but you know keeping it just like brand used that's what we do but anyway it don't look too bad a little wrinkles there i get it it ain't perfect but i'll tell you what it ain't it ain't down in my face where I can't see to drive. Anyway, old Fred is uh, still not doing anything, but okay. All right, show you more. All right, guys, that's about going to do it for today. Glad you tuned in. Now you know how to make a headliner just like brand used. Don't forget, we're on the Instagram, we're on the MeWe, we're on old Facebook, and we're on Rumble. So if you want to rumble, give us a rumble. But as always, I want to appreciate every one of you that come here and watch these videos. We're trying to make it to 1,000. I think we're at 923 as of this morning. It's all because of you guys, and I can't believe anybody would want to tune in and watch me hack something up, but hey, that's just what I do. So, with that being said, remember, we're making it just like brand used here, baby. Run to Lula Run. Hi, baby.